I have Tyler Fox and Paige McQuillan. McQuillan. <laughs> and I, I, I have so much to ask you guys, but first, just to get off the bat, there's something happening this Saturday. What's happening this Saturday, Tyler? This Saturday is the Santa Cruz Waves Soiree. And it's coming up um, from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Santa Cruz Civic Auditorium. And it's got a theme. We're doing the Roaring Twenties, Great Gatsby theme. So, Which, if you can see them dressed right yeah. now, you guys would be. You have to watch the video tomorrow, <laughs> but they look amazing. So Thank you. It's, it's the gap. How did this, like, how did this thought of this event happen? Well, um, I've been um, working on documentary films okay. with Santa Cruz Waves for a while now. Mm -hmm. So... Um, for those that aren't familiar, um, Santa Cruz Waves is a local publication and, and media company. Yeah. And um, I've always wanted to kind of bring the uh, stories within the magazine, kind of bring them to life and showcase them on a, on a basically on the big screen. Um, so we've been starting to do that. We've got um, about seven documentary films uh, Coming that are going to be uh, premiered at the event from cruise ships to nuclear power plant um, to local spotlights on um, you know up-and-coming surfers and uh, artists so a, a good uh, wide variety of films. Is Swan Dive Media they do one of those films? Yep so yeah. our good buddies uh, Joel Hirsch and Mikey Daniel over at Swan Dive yeah. Media are, are producing um, at least a couple of them. We've got Todd Hansen with uh, Transparency, um, Kyle Boothman. So oh, yeah, wow. lo local local cool. filmmakers sh doing their stuff. So amazing films, good food, good drinks, like uh, and live costumes. music. Oh, live music. Who's who's playing? Uh, so Boostive's playing. Um, local band. Um, they have a lot of uh, big band sort of sounds with the. Um, horns and kind of like a cool keyboard. like chill vibe yeah they played at the swellies didn't they yep. last yep. last year yeah they played at the swellies and we even have uh burlesque the wiley minxes coming on to perform do a little performance as well so, so all of this in like a three hour four, hour. four hours yeah we're packing it in <laughs> oh my goodness yep. okay so I... this saturday we never tell prices but if you want information go to santacruzwaves.com it will be all over the banners and everything yep but Let's talk about that. Let's talk about Santa Cruz Waves. You know, remember in the 90s when you guys were too young, there used to be a show that would be like the true Hollywood story. But I want to find like the true Santa Cruz story. How did Santa Cruz Waves start? What was like the very, very Tyler sitting on his bed coming up with yeah. the idea? How did it happen? Um, well, it's it's kind of funny because it really is a uh, napkin idea. I, I jotted down like the name and I jotted down um, basically the idea on a bar napkin. Um, Do you have that napkin? Oh gosh. I, I said I, we I, need I, to have I, it for Oh my goodness, that, that would be napkin. awesome. <laughs> um, okay, Paige, you know I, might, might, I have some of the... Yeah. I know. But I gotta find <laughs> it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it really was. It was, um, I was at a nightclub after a music festival in San Diego okay um, and this photographer came around and was shooting photos of all the people having a good time in this club and what he did is he gave us a little card that said view your photo at I think it was called napkin nights if I remember correctly um, and the next day I pulled the card out of my pocket and I was like God, that was a fun night with some friends like I'm curious I want to see yeah. see us you know all having a good time at this event, and I'm like, why couldn't this same idea um, transcend to surfing? Because surfers so often don't see photos of themselves. No. So I went out there and put a nice uh, camera, bought a nice camera, put it on the credit card, and got a website going and printed out cards, and basically I went down to surf spots every day, was shooting everyday surfers, they were coming out of the water. I was giving them uh, a card that said, view your photo at you know, yeah. this website. And sure enough, the, the, the traffic started flowing in because you know curiosity, they people, the they want to see their pictures. So, so you were their, the first Santa Cruz Waves photographer. I was. And only. Yeah, That's that, right. I was the one, that yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thankfully now we've got a, no, you got a solid whole team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was even thinking about that when you said like, you know, uh, surfers, they don't get to see pictures of themselves surf. But like, oh my goodness, now it's yeah. like besides your team, everybody is yeah. out there. Oh yeah. yeah, with a camera. No, exactly. I mean the the, the um, 
with the evolution of digital photography, it's really changed yeah. things. Everyone's a photographer, and, and these iPhones are making it like so yeah. easy for you to be like a pro. You know, you type in the settings, <laughs> exactly. type in the aperture, you're like, what sort of filter do I want? And it's like, everything looks beautiful. It kind of, yeah. I, 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 I I like it, but I also, it's like, there's no learning anymore, right? Like when we were yep. getting into it, it was, you had I mean, it, we're like going into film, right? It's like you develop film. It's a guessing game. No, you know, you I, don't, I you don't know what's going to, yeah. what's going to come out until you or come out of the dark room. So, okay. Um, so yeah. the website came about, but it starts to get, and it starts to get a lot more traffic. Is it, what happens at that point? Like, okay, you're going to, you have to, you want to grow it more. Yeah. What, what happens? So, um, yeah, so I, you know, I started getting more traffic, and then it um, goes into, you know, advertising and and starting putting some banners on the website, and then um, and then after a couple of years, it was, we were going through, we were basically um, posting and uploading so many images to our website that I was like, God, we're we're it's kind of a waste. We're losing these great image images and. Um, I've always loved coffee table books and yeah. sitting around and with beautiful images. I grew up, you know, reading National Geographic and the Surfers Journal and was like, God, why couldn't we do something like a blend, you know, a Santa Cruz style yeah. of like a Nat Geo or like a Surfers Journal, a really high quality. Um, and um, yeah, the next thing we know, we're, we're putting out our first issue um, in June of 2014, and we just celebrated uh, five, five years, years. Five years, yeah. I love the cover, the black cover with the oh, gold. Oh, thank yeah. you. So what was the the challenge? Because it must have been, for one thing, a magazine is not cheap to yep. produce, to put together, to coordinate. You start off as just you. What was the challenge to build up to get that magazine to like life? like? Was it a struggle? Yeah, so I, I think a lot of things in life are um, are timing, you know, and we, at the time of us wanting to get into some sort of print, whether it was a coffee table or a, or a magazine, um, the local paper, there was two local weekly papers. Yeah. There was the Santa Cruz Weekly and there was the Good Times. And so the weekly, the owner of the weekly ended up, buying the good times and merging those together yeah. and ended up um, a lot of the staff go, ended up getting getting uh, let go, late yeah. let go yeah. and they were kind of like well, what do I do now and it was just going back to the timing we we're just launching this site so there was you know an editors and there's writers that are out of a job and so and salespeople and so we kind of just lucked out in that regard yeah and you, you, you got Stephanie we got right. Steph, yeah, yeah, director of sales. Stephanie's great. Um, of a lot them. of connections. Yeah. We've got um, an awesome editor, um, Elizabeth, a great designer, Josh. Um, yeah, so we, we kind of got an awesome team now. I mean, and yeah, it's it really, it's a, it's a team effort. So. so how does it, like, it's been five years. How do you keep it, I mean, because the magazine, it's beautiful. Everybody, you know, it just just opening it it's like picture after picture this beautiful and then you have these like more in-depth stories so it's not just pictures all the time yeah. but it's some pretty important um, articles in there yeah. how does it like how do you keep it fresh and exciting yeah. for you like you personally yeah. Tyler Fox yeah. you wake up in the morning what's the excitement for yeah. you yeah well I, I think um, because it probably would not be that great if you weren't excited totally yeah. no I think we we always do do our best work when we're excited and passionate about yeah. it. So, and I think that brings me back to this event coming up this Saturday, uh, the soiree, um, is that this is a new frontier for us, putting out um, these documentary films similar to like a Vice News or a, or a Vox Media, these really yeah. like engaging, thought-provoking um, stories. And um, I think, uh, you know, print is definitely not dead, but also, you know, we want to be well-rounded in, in, in what we can showcase. And um, it's really exciting. Like, I, I got to go down with my film team, and we got to get um, basically escorted on this um, nuclear power plant oh, down yeah, in San Onofre that. with yeah. a guard and, that was awesome. you know, going through crazy security. And we got a film team, and it was just like, that's exciting. Yeah. You know, that's like, wow. And 
So doing things like that, and then we're doing a documentary on cruise ships coming into the Monterey Bay, and you know we're getting a lot of these um, you know hard to get interviews, and and I think um, being able to bring these stories to life, not only just in print, but yeah. but on on the big screen and, and through our, the these digital uh, platforms is important. So that basically makes me think of two things. For one, it's really cool because you're you're able to express yourself and like what you have this vehicle where you get to kind of get a little bit of yourself out yeah. to the world and um, it, it resonates. So yeah. good job on that one. And then also too, you you can't stay just doing one thing. No. Yeah. Like if you were just doing those pictures of surfers, yeah. Yeah. you would couldn't even probably buy a surfboard yeah. at this time. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I call I call it the the little hamster inside my head. And, and, and Constantly is that he, true, Paige? It never stops. Let's let's let's, let's keep it quiet for a second. It never stops. Is he all. like kind of a, like? Does he constantly like? Wait, I got an idea. What about all that? the yeah. time? <laughs> whether Every it's good day. or bad. Yeah, yes, good whether it's good or bad. Sometimes you have to bring him back to earth instead of outer space. But for the most part, he is full of a bunch of genius ideas. It's just which ones really stick and he decides to move forward with. Well, that's why it's great to have, like, you know, you have this renaissance man here, but it's great to have somebody to bounce the ideas off and kind of like, you know, I know for me that's that helps and a lot of times, like, okay, I got an idea, and then the person I'm usually with is like, no, that's ridiculous, or no, that's great, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then you kind of go that direction. Yeah, there's a lot of back and forth between the two of us, in a good way. Yeah, I no. don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> <laughs> you guys probably argue sometimes. Not no? too often. Really? No. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's great. Yeah. Okay, wait. planning an event together. That's That's the yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have to It's a good test of the relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. And um Paige is a rock star with event planning. Yeah. She she just launched her That's what um, I wanted to ask. She can get into it, but uh, a um eco-friendly event planning company, okay. weddings and things cool. like that and and all um, she can take it from here. You know, I, I, I want to get into that. Yeah. I have oh, okay. two couple questions. Yeah. For okay. one, wait, what was my question? Were you an intern at Santa Cruz Waves? I was. <laughs> so that, look at what you got out of it. Oh, that's our Strictly joke. professional the, the whole time. I it was. Think, yeah. Well, it wasn't no, until a few years after yeah. I quit working for the company that, that I actually, started dating. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I remember I was surprised because I think when you were interning, I was working with Santa Cruz Waves on a couple of projects. Yeah, you yeah, were. And then you came, and then like, I didn't see it for a because I moved into other things, and then... And I moved to Hawaii. That was it, yeah. And then I came back into town and slowly this progressed, and here we are engaged. Awesome. When, is there actually a date? <laughs> Or I don't no. want to. Okay, no, okay. we're gonna wait till twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Okay. We may go internationally. Oh, cool. Cut the guest list. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot cheaper, maybe. Yeah. Wait. So I want to ask about your events, but yeah. I first want to ask. So, I, and this is totally a random question. Do you guys have this? Do you do this one thing where you like you just put people on like this like raft somewhere and feed them in the middle of the ocean? <laughs> Like, <laughs> talk about crazy ideas. Yeah, what is this? This is one of his crazy ideas. I saw ideas. that, I was like, oh my yeah. goodness, that is so cool. What an experience. Yeah. What was that? Um, and ta that's called uh, Experience Aventura. Okay. And so that was another side business yeah. sort of adventure. Yeah. Um, and basically, what we did is we set up um, um, outings out on the ocean, out on the kelp beds okay. on this inflatable raft, and had like chairs. We had a little table, and we. Actually, fra we cooked like Tyler fresh would go spear fish. fishing yeah. in the morning, oh catch fresh fish, and we'd literally pluck like seaweed right out of the ocean, and we'd fry it on this little barbecue that we'd bring with us on our raft See, the to make homemade tacos. The That's problem with that, with that like business is that you can't replicate Tyler so <laughs> much to like okay, go spear for your take them all stuff, and then also like no, let's watch you on Mavericks going down a wave or something. Yeah. <laughs> can't do all that. <laughs> it, it's complex. I took my mom out for Mother's Day okay. and uh, there's, I, they're like, what? she's like, what about the swell? Isn't there supposed to be a south swell? And I'm like, no, it's going to be fine. <laughs> we're going down to this spot. And yeah. sure enough, there were, some, there were some sets. <laughs> well, I guess it's good as your mom, not a client maybe. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But no, they, she, she, she both, took it like both, a chance. Both my mom and my dad, <laughs> we paddled this thing out. It's it's six <laughs> foot wide by ten feet long, and okay. it's basically just a platform that's yeah. floating, you know. And and the, every all the surfers in the lineup were just like going, "What is going on out here? Look at these kooks! Like, get ready to pull out the cameras. Something's gonna go wrong." And thankfully, 
you know, thankfully the little hibachi grill didn't fall oh off goodness. or it didn't flip the thing. As soon so. as you make it to the kelp beds, it's always pretty flat, though. Okay. It's yeah. just making it out and then Pass coming the... back in. Yeah. Tyler's like, we're going to catch this wave <laughs> and start paddling. I have a hilarious video of like all of us screaming yeah. and holding on to everything. Oh, yeah. so Fingers funny. crossed we don't flip it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so everybody, but it's always an adventure. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Paige, tell yes. me a little bit about like. Have you always done events? Like, how did this idea come into place about doing, you know, events for actual living? I, that's not that's stressful. <laughs> yeah. It is, unless you're very organized. Okay, if you're yeah. organized, then you it's not so stressful. Yeah. I'm pretty organized. I'm getting there. I am. <laughs> no, I have always kind of loved throwing events, but never considered it as a career path yeah. until I moved back to Santa Cruz after living in Hawaii and came across a job listing as an event coordinator for a venue down in Monterey. Okay. Um, so I started working there for a few years and realized I absolutely loved it and I was really good at it. Um, so I had started dating Tyler at that time and I was commuting like an hour and a half each way every day and I would go just sit behind a desk unless it was an event day. And he's like, you could do this from home. Like there's no point in you getting in a car driving. You can just show up when you have a meeting or throw an event. Um, so I made the leap of faith and started my company, Page Events. Um, and I also had realized how much waste goes into events. So, I decided to make it a huge focus of my company um, to stay as sustainable and eco-friendly as possible. So I went through a certification program that taught me how to make an event from start to finish pretty much zero waste. Nice. Yeah. So what kind of events, uh, is there a certain like, like niche of events that you do or is it just, you know, I'll do weddings, I'll do anniversaries, I'll do bar mitzvahs, I'll do whatever. Yeah. It's pretty much anything. Yeah. Um, I just talked to possibly getting involved into like tech launches. Today I was talking to someone. Cool. I do a lot of weddings, kind of my bread and butter yeah. because they become... There's a lot of them. There's a lot yeah. of them yeah. all the time um, and I love them. It's such a joyful day. Um, but I've done like car shows in Monterey. I've done large events for Kaiser Permanente. Um, I've done a lot of different corporate events too. So I like doing those as well as weddings to kind of mix it up and not have every day be the same. So if somebody wants to find out about your events, where do they go? They can find me at pageevents.com. Pageevents.com. And you are also part of this, you're orchestrating this event this Saturday, right? Yes, correct. It's okay. team effort here. Team effort. The, the <laughs> Just events the two and of Santa us. Cruz waves together. <laughs> a power couple of Santa Cruz. Okay, so just again, it's uh, the soiree. I, for some reason, it's all hard for me to say that soiree. Yeah, the soiree. The soiree, and it's um, this Saturday at what time? Uh, Six doors, to ten. Yep, doors open at, at 6 p.m. Uh, show up a little early. There's going to be some classic cars out front. Oh, cool. Um, and uh, you yeah, can see their outfits that they're currently be wearing a right a now. Blast. <laughs> and I think you're going too, right? I, I am going for sure <laughs> the first couple of hours. Yeah. So awesome. Cool. Okay. So go to SantaCruzWaves.com and find out about that. And of course, you know, every every quarter the magazine comes out. Uh, yeah, two? six times a year. Every two months. Bi-monthly. Oh my yeah. goodness, that's yeah. a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I think thank Santa you. Cruz Waves just such just an amazing part of Santa Cruz culture. So you guys are doing something right. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you. You're Thank listening you. to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7.